Hello my lovies! Welcome back to my channel. So we're doing things a little different today. A lot of you have been asking me and asking me for I don't even know how long I think since when I started doing YouTube um, to do a makeup tutorial so to speak if that's what you want to call it um i am not a makeup person i just literally do my own makeup but since a lot of you have been asking for one it's a new year and i am pleasing people okay i am trying new things <coughs> excuse me um so i'm just gonna show you guys how i do my makeup i have no nice setup i'm telling you i literally sit on the floor of my room with a mirror in front of me and just do my makeup. I have no fancy setup, um, you know, so that's just, it's just me. Don't judge, don't judge how I do stuff, okay? Um, yeah, this is no fancy tutorial. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys what I do. I am not a makeup artist, so take it or leave it, okay? So let's get started. All right, of course you got to uh, moisturize yo face all right i just use basic cetaphil okay i have um i started getting as i started getting older i started getting um eczema on my face and it just came out of nowhere the dermatologist said um it happens with age sometimes and um you know, sometimes when the weather changes so fast, your skin doesn't, like, catch up properly. Um, I know, right? Problems as you get older. So I started getting, like, eczema here and eczema, like, on my forehead. Um, and they gave me, like, this really expensive cream, you know, that I had to buy. So um, I looked it up, and it wasn't even working that good. I still had, like, dry patches. And then I looked it up, and people were telling me that I should use um, Cetaphil. And ever since I've been using this, this has worked like a freaking miracle, okay? It's just, I use the one for the face, so for dry and extra dry skin. And I just use two pumps of it, put it all over my face, and I'm pretty much good, okay? So, <clears throat> that's that. I use a primer. Some people don't use a primer. You don't have to. I personally just like um, a little bit of primer, not too much. I use the Pore Professional by Benefit. Don't judge my one, it's mad dirty, okay? I use this one because I feel like it works the best. I literally just use a little drop like that. Um, I don't have that big pores, that big of pores, but I do have some here on my like T-zone here. Um, but not really much. I just feel like this one, has always worked the best you could use whatever uh what should I call it primer you want i have like red skin as you could see um it usually just turns red when i'm like working on it or whatever but um yeah it happens my skin is just it turns red i have what do you call that uh rosacea rosacea yeah you know, so I need a little bit of excitement in any bit. I, my face turns red. For foundation, now, I don't use no fancy foundation, okay? I literally use Revlon Color Stay from the pharmacy, okay? This is 24 hour. I don't know if you guys can see that. Whoa. Focus, focus. Yeah. So Revlon 24 hour stay. I use the combination oily skin. They have like a for dry skin. I use for combination oily because the T-zone is usually um, where it gets really oily for me. So this is the one I use. I have two different colors here because, you know, my body just all tans differently. When I go away on vacation, I always protect my face because I have so many freckles because I've gotten sun poisoning so much. Um, so I just like to protect my face now as I get older. So I usually just wear a hat. So my skin my chest and everything is always darker than my face my face is like ghost and then my skin is always darker so i just mix two colors i mix 320 and 300 320 is getting a little too dark because i am uh obviously paling out 
so I have to get 310 but I haven't bought it yet but you know whatever so I put two dots there two dots here I am NOT a professional people like I said this is how I apply my foundation <laughs> okay literally I apply it like a crazy person and then I take 320 and I just take one dot of it just to balance out the lightness of the 300. So it could match my chest somewhat the same. Okay. And then I take my handy dandy beauty blender. This is literally what um i use and i just blend this out you just blend it all out and don't forget to drag it down your neck okay i hate when girls don't drag it down their neck and then they're literally two different colors. So please, ladies, drag, okay? Drag it down. And I'm gonna try this uh, fast forwarding thing because you guys wanna see me here, you know, blend it out. So yeah, one, two, three, it will be all blended out. One, two. Okay, so as you see, I blended everything out. I don't think my snappy thing was that effective, but you know, whatever, you gotta get the deal. So this foundation is pretty much um, full coverage. I freaking love it. I don't think the more you spend on foundation, the better it is. I have been using a drugstore foundation forever and it's the one that's worked best with my skin. It does not break me out. I cannot use MAC for the life of me. Um, MAC has something in it. I used to use it in high school and it made my skin break out a lot. Um, and it just never agreed with me. So any MAC products I use, I could use anything from them and it will break my skin out except for their lipsticks. That's literally the only thing I could use from them. Um, so I don't, and a freaking foundation from them costs like 40 bucks. I remember I used to spend back in the day. Um, this girl, $13 at your local drugstore. Okay. So yeah, after the foundation, I always like to go in and set it with some um, powder foundation just to set it in a little bit. I do use translucent powder later on when I do uh, my concealer, but this is what I use just to powder it out just a little tiny bit. It's the, the Maybelline Fit Me. I use the matte poreless one and you just go in and I just brush a little bit on. I just use a little bit just to set in and to not make me look so cakey. Okay. Okay. So that is that. Okay, never mind. So yeah, so that's literally all I do with that. Next, I do my brows. So I use, where is my home girl at? I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz pencil. Um, they do have a good drugstore dupe for this and that's the NYX pencil. They have an, uh, the NYX, the NYX eyebrow pencil they have one it looks just like this do i have it i used to have one let me see this is my little my little makeup thingy um no i ran out of that one whatever but they have one literally nyx okay and this one i think is like 20 bucks 19 something like that and the next one I think is like 10 so either one is good okay 
and I don't have no specific way to do my brows guys actually my brows is the hardest thing to do because this brow right here is very well tamed it's very nice on its own and this one for whatever reason you know you always have one brow that is better than the other and um yeah this one just doesn't want to be as nice as this one so this one's always my struggle brow but you know whatever you just brush it out and what i do i'm not gonna do it on camera but i'll j give you guys the gist of it um i just follow underneath from where my brows go follow this curve out and then i'll do the same on top and then i'll just kind of like do a, a round thing here because i don't like how it goes pointy you see so i just <coughs> excuse me i just round it out and then just fill in you know but i'll show you guys work with me work with me Okay, so after I have it, uh, let me get close for you guys. After I have it lined out on the top and on the bottom, I just literally go in and with light strokes, just fill in. And as you're doing that, you want to brush the bottom. I usually brush it up and then you brush it out so it makes it more, look more natural okay so we'll be back with some brows so once you have these brows semi looking like relatives okay because they're never going to look identical they're gonna look more like cousins okay once you have it all figured out you see how this one's my nice brow anyways once you have it all brushed out so you have no harsh lines okay you're gonna go in and you're going to set the brows well i set my brows yeah like i said you guys do not have to do it everything i do i'm just showing you guys what i do okay i go in with the anastasia and my brows look hella dark right now but i promise you once i fill in the rest of my face because i have nothing on my eyes right now i'll look more decent okay oh my god something in my eye. okay so i just go in with the ew why is it so dirty okay i go in with the anastasia beverly hills clear brow gel that is what i just found works best for me to hold my brows in place and it doesn't make them look hard if you know what i mean like some clear gels when you put them on your eyebrows they kind of like stiffen your brows and don't make them look natural and i don't like that so once i put it in i just again brush it out ew what's up with my hair don't mind my hair guys i gotta fix it so i just literally just brush them out so again give it more of a natural look okay so you could go in and fix if you see something you don't like i just had to round out that <laughs> that side excuse me my throat is getting dry vietnamese coffee bomb.com bomb.com all right so after you do your brails after you fill in your brows, sorry, I'm going to go and just conceal a little bit around your eyebrow just to clean up any like mistakes or anything like that. Well, at least that's what I do. And this just kind of lets you um, make them stand out a little more, you know. So I just go in with the NYX HD Concealer. I use it in CW03. And I just take a little bit. This doesn't want to open. And you're just going to take a eyebrow pencil or whatever you use. Actually, I don't think this is an eyebrow pencil. 
whatever. This is from e.l.f., okay? So, or E-L-F, whatever you guys want to call it. Eyes, lips, and face. I call it e.l.f. And I just go in and I just put here on the top. Hold on, I'll show you. Sorry, is that my mirror is right in front of me? And this is good if you haven't gotten your eyebrows done, guys. If you haven't gotten your eyebrows done, putting concealer covers the puppies up, you know? So I literally just go in, put on the bottom here, and then put here on the top. And this kind of helps me give um, the shape that I really want to. And after this, I just literally go in with my pinky and then just brush it to blend in with the foundation already on my face. You see? And it's alright if it's a little highlighted here because I highlight my brow bone anyways once I do my uh, eyeshadow. Guys, sometimes your finger is your best tool, okay? I know people who literally put their foundation on with their hands. And their makeup be coming out popping. Okay? So, don't be trying to come out here with no, like, fancy tools. You know, and be like, oh my god, I gotta get the best brushes and the most expensive brushes. No. Negative. Negative. And then you, I literally just do the same thing on the other side. You know, what you do to one side, you got to do to the other. So, ta-da! Those are the brows. Those are the brows. Okay. That's that. Then I do my eyeshadow. You guys don't have to do your makeup in the same order. I do my makeup, okay? Don't do it. So my everyday, I'm going to give you guys my everyday look, basically. Um, which is just like a light color here on my lid. Um, right now, I'm just using the Take Me on Vacation by Kylie palette. I use the light color, which is this one. Hold on. I don't want this brush to fall out. Okay, I use this light color right here. Not with this puffy brush. Hold on. This, like, flat brush. This is literally, it's just called an eyeshadow brush. It's flat, as you guys could see. And I take the light color, and I just put it on my eyelid. Okay. I put it on my eyelid. It does not have to be perfect because we gonna blend the puppy out. Okay. Uh, I literally use any light color I have in whatever eyeshadow palette I find. I have nothing specific. Okay, so literally whatever. Okay, so once I have like a base there, then I go in with my puffy. This is from, I think this is from Morph, Morphe, and it's E40. Sorry, it's all like faded out. A dog even chewed on it, you know. And I just use the two semi. As you can see, I used literally every day, so they're like all blended out. I combined uh, this like beige, beige-ish beige color right here, and then this like mauve, light mauve color. I combined these two, and I put that in my crease just to give my eye a little more dimension. And I literally, like you see right here, this is where my crease starts. This is where I go at. Just there. So you see what I mean when the base does not have to be perfect? Because I'm blending that bitch out. Oh, crrr. I'm sorry if my makeup lingo is not perfect. But like I said, I'm not a makeup artist, people. Okay? Not a makeup artist. So I just keep doing that on the creases and 
we'll be back when they're complete. Okay, so once I feel like they're, the creases are dark enough, that's good enough for me. I go in with the same light color that I used on the tops of my lids. And I just take a little bit with the same flat brush and I just highlight the eyebrow bone. Okay. So you just highlight it. Like I said, you don't have to. This is just what I do. To me, makeup is like fun. You could do whatever you want. You could do so many looks. And then <clears throat> I just like to blend it out one more time here. Just so there's like no harsh lines, you know. When in doubt, just blend. Just blend that puppy. Okay, and that's literally all I do for my everyday eyeshadow, guys. Literally, and ninety percent of my videos. That's why I look regular schmegular. I'm really just a regular schmegular girl. Okay, then I do my eyeliner. So this I'm definitely not doing on eye on camera because, honey, I'd be like pulling my eye all the way to the side. It's a project. So I use two different eyeliners for the top of my eye. Where's the other one? Okay. Both of them are from NYX. So for the top of my lid right here, right above my eye, I use uh, the Epic Ink Liner from NYX. This is just their special edition one. It's gold. Regularly, it's black. It's called Epic Ink Liner. And then... Um, for the wing of my eyeliner, I use the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. So, this is not focusing. So, just make sure you get the matte one because there is a vinyl one. If you do like that shiny look, then you could get the vinyl one. But, I always get the matte. Okay, so this is the finished eye look. Guys... The eyeliner, it takes a really long time to get, and you could always go in. This is just a dirty ass makeup wipe I have lying around. And go in and clean it up. Okay, as you can see, I cleaned it up a little bit. The foundation came off, but the concealer is going to cover it anyways. But yeah, so don't be scared. Okay? Do not be scared. Did I put the other one in here? Yeah. So after you have the eyeliner all done... This is a close-up for y'all. Um, I go in with my concealer. So I use the Tarte Shape Tape. It is literally the best concealer ever. It is the best concealer ever. And I use it in the color Light. And I am running out, so I have to do a makeup run. But... I literally just put some here and do like a little triangle, drag it out, and I do the same on the other side. Triangle, drag it out, do a little here in the middle of your forehead, down the nose, down the lip, down that center. So you look like a little chief. <laughs> And then just grab your beauty blender again. Oh, it's just mad dirty. And just blend it out. Blend, blend, blend. Blending is your best friend. <laughs> okay. So we'll be back when it's all blended out. Okay, so it's all blended out. As you can see, there is like some harsh, you know, lines right there, you see? because I dragged it up and over here. So what I do is I take the other side of my beauty blender where I blended out my foundation and I just blend out these harsh lines. So it all blends in. 
remember ladies, the only semi-harsh lines y'all should have is from the contour. And that shouldn't even be that hard. So yeah, I just blend it out. So you see there's no harshness there anymore. should be all set so that's that after the concealer I like to set mine I use the so it doesn't like get all creasy and all oily and whatnot I use the Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder as you can see right there so I just take a, a little bit and I just put some right here. I don't drag it out all the way because um, when you put translucent powder, uh, where your highlighter goes, it dulls out the highlighter. And I like my highlighter to stand out. It's just a little tip I learned from am Reezy. so yeah i don't drag it out all the way i just leave it there and when i brush it off then i brush it out so it sets the powder over here but it doesn't it's not gonna dull out my highlighter just fails me so i let that bake you know oh i got highlighter powder all over me okay and while that's baking your girl's gonna contour. So, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Contour Stick, Stick Foundation it's called. Um, and I use it in the color Minx. And under it, it says contour. I don't know if you guys can see it, it's not focusing. But this is literally what it looks like. And, I just take it and what you want to do is suck in your, suck in your cheekbones and follow this line up there. So I start from here and I drag it down like halfway through my cheek because then you got to blend it out, you know, and you could drag it down. So you don't got to like literally draw a full line, just halfway. 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 So once that's there, then I take a brush. This is a stipple brush. It literally looks like this. And I just blend it out. Oh, this is probably a good angle for you guys. Mmm. Just drag it down to where that cheekbone goes in. And just do circular motions. So it shouldn't be that harsh of a line. And on top of it, you know, you're still gonna like blend it with the beauty blender. <laughs> So you see how this side looks more slimming than this side? Yeah. So after that is all a blended in, I know it looks crazy. Just wait. I take a fluffy brush and I wipe away all that translucent powder. And you see, I'm just wiping it away. Make sure there's no crease marks of powder because that's not cute. Okay. And then you take your beauty blender again, the side that you use to blend out your foundation, and you're gonna blend out those harsh contour marks. 
Okay, so blend that bitch out. It's all about blending. So you're going to blend. Oh, my bracelet is annoying as fuck. I usually don't have my bracelet on when I'm doing my makeup. I just had to film another video, so. So, you see? It doesn't look as harsh. You just look like you have a little contour line that like disappears semi. And that your cheekbones are naturally like that. Okay, so then after that, I go in with a powder bronzer to, uh, add to uh, darken up the contour and to contour the rest of your face. I use the Too Faced bronzer. It's called Chocolate Soul, Solio, whatever, in medium. This is like an old ass bronzer I have, guys. So I don't use much. That's why it lasts me literally forever. I actually just bought a new one. Because I finally like ran all out. <laughs> and I take a large angled brush and I just put some. Suck in your cheekbones again. And just blend it. So you do it to both sides of your cheeks where you put the stick foundation contour. Make sure you're not doing like harsh lines, you're blending out. My leg was falling asleep. <laughs> so you see, my see, my face looks slimmer. And then you take some more, and of course, don't forget, you gotta color in your the top of your forehead just a little bit, like where your hairline is and bring it down to the side so that it meets where you angled down at. And then you wanna put a little bit right here. So technically you're doing like the number three, but I don't like doing it like that. So I do it in sections. Okay, and then you just bring it down a little bit and you do the same over here. And make sure you don't OD. Sometimes I go savage on this and I look a little large. <laughs> so just make sure. Just make sure you look decent. Ha! Okay. All right. Then what I like to do is I like to contour my nose just a little bit. So where I highlighted. You just take a small little pen, uh, brush. I was going to say pencil. And then I just contour this little bone over here. Bring it down. And then do the same on the other side. Not that I have like a big nose. Um, this just... I don't know. I feel like it makes my face look better. So right now it looks crazy, but don't worry, ladies. We're going to blend. Okay? But before we blend, we're going to add the blush. So I use, this is Too Faced as well. They don't have this one anymore. 
Um, this is this was from the Sweethearts when they had the Sweethearts thing, and it's called a uh, Perfect Flush Blush. And it was in Sparkling Bellini. As you can see, I've had it forever. I don't use much blush at all. All you need is a little bit. I hate when people cake on the blush. It looks like a doll. I don't like that look. If it works for you, whatever. Um, but yeah, I liked it because it had three different tones. And you kind of mixed it all together. And it gave you like the perfect, perfect little tint. So I just smile. And literally just put it on my cheekbones. Sorry, it's hard because I have my mirror over here. <laughs> so I just put a little bit. I know people like to put a lot sometimes. And it's whatever works for you guys. So, yeah. So once that is done, then... That's when you blend it all together so you don't look crazy. So I usually just start here at my nose. Oh, this is a big ass puffy powder brush, it's called. Um, yeah, powder brush. This is from Real Techniques. I love Real Techniques brushes. They're bomb.com. So you literally just blend everything together so you have no harsh lines. Okay. So you're going to uh, blend everything out. Make sure you have no harsh lines on your nose, around your forehead. I brush it back into my hairline, down my neck. When in doubt, blend. Okay, so once it's all blended to your liking, Oprah, we are gonna go in and highlight now. So I usually use, I have two favorite highlights. I usually use Becca Opal. This is a little travel size one that I keep in my makeup case. Um, Becca Opal or Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood. So Hollywood, I usually use, um, it's like a really goldish one. Um, I usually use when I'm going out, like out, out, out to like dance and stuff. My everyday one that I use is the Becca Opal. So I'm just going to go in with that. Those are really my two favorite highlights and you just hit it right here in this little zone right here and honestly highlight as much as you like some people don't like that much of a highlight I like to highlight a little bit above my eyebrow as well um, some people like to put a little bit some people like to put a lot it's honestly up to you you are in control of it. It depends how shiny you like to be. So I usually highlight there above my eyebrows and then I take a slim. This is a, damn, all these names are rubbed off. A Sigma small small blending brush that's just a tapered blending brush that just has like a point and I take some highlighter and I literally put it right here down my nose down the arch I guess that's what you call it and on the tip so it's literally it looks like an exclamation point <laughs> see exclamation point that bitch and then I put above my lip right here and down these two lines and then I put a little bit right here on my chin in the middle 
where I put the highlight. I mean the concealer before. So that is what I highlight. Like I said, if you want to highlight more, that's up to you. And then I don't like it to look so harsh, okay? So I go in with the other side that's not dirty with foundation of my beauty blender. So it's literally clean. And so it blends in a little bit. I just tap it in just so it doesn't look like it's like just sitting on top of my face, you know? And remember, my beauty blender is damp, so it's all blending in. And yeah, that's literally all I do. Then I do, we're almost done guys my mascara so I take a eyelash curler and this is just the one from Tarte and I curl my eyelashes I'm oh, sorry I gotta look in the mirror for this just curl them I usually just hold it here for about like five seconds and just bounce it a little bit and do the same to the other side just so they could be a little bit. I really don't have much eyelashes, guys. My eyelashes are weak. And the mascara I use is the Lancome uh, Monsieur Big. This is the best freaking mascara on earth. So you see me? Look hardly any lashes and then i'll show you guys when they're done so this is how they look when they're done see this mascara is a freaking bomb okay of course you i add two coats so while i do the other eye this one is drying and then i go back and just add a little more just to give it a little more volume okay and then last but not least I just add some eyeliner, pencil eyeliner to my waterline. And you see, makes the eye stand out a little more. And then your final, final step is, um, what do you call it? Oh, I forgot the freaking setting spray. I forgot the name I blacked out. So I literally, I use the NYX matte finish. They have a dewy one. Uh, sister is oily enough okay I go in with the matte one and just spritz my face just let it dry and then you could add whatever lip you want sometimes I go with a dark oh I'll show you guys actually my favorite lip combo I carry it in my bag all the time um, it's literally the it's three different things guys don't judge me it's the nyx uh crayon lip pencil in 810 which is natural i have a little bitty part left then i put the mac nude du jour matte lipstick on mine and then on top of it, I put the NYX Butter Gloss and Fortune Cookie. This is my favorite gloss of all time. This is such a pretty like tint and voila. That's the finished look guys. So that is literally everything I do. This is my everyday look. This is what you guys have been asking me for. Like I said, I am not a professional makeup artist. So take it, don't take it. I don't know what else to tell you guys. <laughs> I hope you guys liked it. Leave a comment down below if you want to see more videos like this. Um, I'll try to do like different makeup looks. But you know, this is just my everyday one. 
So yeah, until next time, guys. Remember, let's spread positive vibes, good laughs, and uh, I guess good makeup for this one. <laughs> Peace.